Is it time to disembark from the European club for good? Change the flow of trade and traffic with the continent? Or should we keep the drawbridge down, remain in the EU and have free movement of goods and people from Europe, rather than leave and bring in curbs and control? It's at ports like Harwich where the most visible change of leaving the European Union will be seen. Our passports might look like those of old, without the words European Union at the top. Our mini-adventure begins with meeting the Harwich MP and big backer of Brexit. Hi oh, Bernard, what do you make of the car? <laughs> Mixed, I would say. <laughs> he has a vision of Britain out of the EU. Well, you could have a channel for UK passport holders so that we get priority into our, back into our own country instead of having to queue up with other EU passport holders. At the moment, while we're not in the Schengen free travel area uh, that the rest of the EU are in, uh, we, we have to admit any EU citizen. Immigration officers arrested 70 people at ports in the east between 2010 and 2015. Last year, here in Harwich, 68 people were found in four lorries. It makes running this country very difficult. We cannot uh, stop people coming in, even if we think they're a terrorist threat, uh, if they're an EU citizen. We have to let them in. Next stop, the town ranked the most Eurosceptic place in Britain by the LSE, the only place with a UKIP MP. Are you in or out and why? Out, I don't like the EU. How's that? 75 I voted in and I, I thought it'd be a good trading partners. But now I've voted out. I want out. Well, last time I voted to go in and this time I will vote to stay in. From veteran voters to the Essex School in Ingatestone, where the EU flag is their flag. The referendum will be the first time these students vote. It's a hot topic. I don't believe there's any proof to say that, that by leaving the EU that we will lose our jobs. Um, I think that staying in the EU is um, bad for our economy. The state sovereignty is being lost every single minute of the day. I don't know how it's possible to say that being in the EU is a good thing. You know, our children are likely to grow up in the United States of Europe and be European citizens, and I think that's terrible. Yeah, but if you think about it, where we are placed geographically in the world, we are part of Europe. I share similar values with European students when I go on exchange programmes. I'm able to go and work abroad and I'm able to do so many things that I think our children would actually have it, like, be advantaged from. Who is going to be voting in? And who's going to be voting out? So you've changed your mind in the course of this debate then? A little bit. Really? you changed yeah, your mind? quite a persuasive argument. Round one of the referendum road trip comes to its journey's end. <laughs> Tomorrow, Vicky is in the driving seat. Round two, Suffolk. Here you go. Brilliant. Have fun. Thank this you. is the one border, at least, that won't change, whether we decide to stay or go from the EU. Simon Dedman, BBC Look East, Essex.